All right. We're going to get into it a little bit. Not sure how far we'll get, but let's see what awaits us. Oh yeah. I forgot about all the shit that was unleashed when I uh, got the fire extinguisher happening. Luckily it's still powder. Broken hoses. Just totally deteriorated too, like not... There wouldn't have been any pressure put on that shit, just... Disintegration. All right, got a couple of the cobwebs out. I'd love to get more thorough. Still power steering fluid. One thing I want to see when I take it out of the spot is just how much is left on the ground. When I moved the uh, Merc yesterday, nothing but a dry little, you know, oil puddle. I mean, the thing's been sitting there a couple of years and I almost never have to top off the Merc, so it's it's pretty damn good. No brake fluid left or anything, or, you know, on the ground or anything, so. Uh... I'm going to hit all the visible spark plugs with uh, PB Blaster. There's a few things I always forget, such as the rear plug here, eight on this side. I've still got the partial piece of uh, manifold there because um, that's where it was broke to begin with. And that's what kind of led down this whole path here. But uh, um, that plug's impossible to get at. Like, I don't know how many universals you would need to get an angle on that dangle. Um, but I remember that being a super problem. That was a problem when there was headers in here, and it's a problem with the uh, manifold. The way this engine is kind of crammed in here, there's not there's not a lot of space for anything. You know, I'm gonna label these wires. I think. Contacts look good inside. My favorite shit is uh, PB Blaster. I don't know, it's just always worked for me. Tried some of the others. Hit the other side too. I can at least get all at all the uh, plugs on this side, at least with the manifold off. <sighs> I'm a little scared what I might find, but I might take off uh, these rocker covers if they'll come off easy. Have a look in there. I don't know what we're gonna see. Yeah, there's all kinds of shit I forgot about here because uh, well, that one has stuff too. So maybe two have studs and two don't. Um, 
how almost impossible it is to check the fucking oil. I remember dad had a uh, dipstick receiver or whatever that was flexible and would allow you to kind of, oh, sorry, allow you to stick it outside here. But uh, yeah, it's wee whack. for there we go <clears throat> not bad super clean it's been doing its job anyway and like I say there's a bit of oil up here so I really like that Totally fucked. When we replaced the uh, cam just before the last race, uh, we got some Skookum uh, springs and lifters for this. I think these are 1.6. Yeah, 1.6. I think we lashed them all right. Uh, Archie has a Chevy technique. Anyway, that's not too bad at all, really. I'm happy about that. I don't even know that the engine isn't stuck, to be honest with you. I'm going to, uh, if we can get most of these plugs out, I'm going to turn it over by hand. And make sure we're not starting from there because otherwise there'll have to be an operation. Anyway, that's positive. Yeah, these are roller, uh, roller chummies. Forgot about that. Pretty sure we did all that when we did the uh, cam. Sketchy throttle situation we got going on. That's worse than what Dad and I fucking did. Oh, I see. That's not throttle. This is the um, kick down or whatever the fuck you want to call it. Chevy Special. That's a goddamn joke anyway. I mean, I remember Dad and I calculating all the uh, rotations, and this thing has to uh, expand a certain amount at a certain throttle position. Yeah, this thing is fucking sketch, man. Memory's coming back. The uh, steering knuckle here hits the goddamn manifold too, and I think when the car bottoms out, the manifold is hitting the uh, part of the frame there, and that's what busted this. That's what led to the whole experiment. I was going to try and get the whole manifold off and replace it with a new one, and maybe bang the where, wherever it's hitting. But uh, that shit uh, hasn't happened yet, of course. I should have mentioned this is also the shit that I use to uh, destroy the uh, wasp nest. They don't like this shit. It doesn't kill them instantly, but it stops them from flying instantly, and they and then they die. I'm hitting these spark plugs again. Probably no point in getting the back one because I can't fucking get there anyway. Probably always have a number eight that is uh, rusted in there. Oh, jeez. Just occurred to me I might not have one that'll fit that. I wouldn't have had these plugs out at the house here. It's like, uh,.
some sixteenths, maybe. Last one, thirteen sixteenths. Baby. There's not very many places to stash tools in, under this. It's not like the Merc. Oh, yes. It's crusty, though. Yeah, everywhere is like an angle. Well, that wasn't too bad. And really, not too fucking shabby, really. Don't know how many miles is beyond that, but a couple hundred, I guess, because we would have put them in when we did the uh, timing chain and then drove to the racetrack, drove back. Yeah, pretty happy with that. And there's oil under there, it's good. Put that back in for now. All right, well, got a couple of positives there. Now, one of the real tricks, I need to uh, chase the threads on the manifold bolts because they will have rusted up a bit. And I did find my um, my following tap, but uh, I found I don't have a fucking tap wrench. Now, because I'm only uh, following this, I can just get it started, I can use one of these. You wouldn't do this if you were making a new thread. You would put it all cottywampus and fuck it up. It's not a great idea here either, but... It'll also take a million years doing it this way. It's going in pretty good though. All the stuff I'm doing is just in preparation for doing the all of them. I just wanted to get down to the brass tacks of this whole scenario because this is what we have to do in order to make it start without the manifold. I'm not starting it again without the manifold on is what I'm saying. It was sketchy last time. I knew what I was getting into, but hence the fire. Plus I poured a lot of gas down the fire grate. So. Some of that was allowed to vaporize and then it came out when I was trying to start it and then any kind of spark was going to set that shit off. Yeah, it's going in pretty good. I thought they were going to be right rusted to fuck. It would have to be a pretty small tap wrench anyway in order to be able to get all the way around. There's a bunch of shit in the way. Yeah, so that's going to be fine. It's just a little bit of crud. If I got some stainless bolts, they might just fucking do that shit for me. Focusing on the front one is more difficult to start. Yeah, so it looks like the front one is the one that's kind of gummed up the worst. These ones I can get them started by hand. Yeah, starting over here too, so that's good. Some of my fears are not substantiated. There's still a lot of gasket left over in here. I'm going to scrape that off. Today we're taking all the positives we can get. I'm not leaving nothing on the table. I like the fact that there's a oil on the rockers 
spark plug came out without too much uh, hoofing and uh, the tap went in reasonably reasonably good those things are a beauty anyway I guess before uh, before I run into something that does take spat I'm going to leave it there and uh, we'll just call this uh, part one and yeah I'll fire it up uh, when we got another part coming thanks for watching take care talk soon bye